Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day no matter where you are in this world. Before we get started, I want to thank everybody. We're at 19,800 subscribers, only 200 more before 20,000, so hopefully we hit that by this weekend. Also, I want to remind everybody that you can become a member to the channel now for just 99 cents a month. The MVP, VIP, and Pro versions of the memberships are gradually being taken away, and those perks will be transferred over to the 99 cent eBuzz Central member. It's a great way to support the channel and also a great way to support the content that you like. Also, it is very important that you smash that like button. That's what keeps me in YouTube's algorithm. So if you find information here that is important and you think it is helpful, somebody else out there might as well. Also, I want to remind you, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at my previous four videos, there's some great information in there. Microsoft's open source theft, no longer a secret. That's my newest video. It's got a lot of great info in there of what Microsoft is doing with AI and on GitHub. And then, of course, Kashi OS, Ultramarine, and the five Linux distros that we need to keep an eye on in 2023. Now, a lot of the times I do a lot of Ubuntu-based distributions, Arch-based distributions, but today we're going to step out of the comfort zone and we're going to take a look at a Gentoo-based distribution, and that would be Calculate Linux. It's a fast and functional user-friendly distribution. It's based on Gentoo and still backward compatible with it. It maintains a balance between state-of-the-art and stability, providing the latest versions of applications, stable versions of libraries. Uh, features, start and work, fast as the wind, uh, optimal for VPS, a handy desktop environment. You can get it on desktop, server, testing, and cloud. Uh, if you go over to desktop, you've got a couple different flavors that you can choose from. They have a KDE, a Cinnamon, an LXQT, a Mate, and an XFCE. And then you've got Calculate Linux from Scratch. They've got a Scratch Edition and an XFC Edition Scientific. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the XFC edition. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get on over to the desktop. And if you download Calculate Linux, throw it on a USB or open it in a virtual machine, this is where you are. It's got a great looking desktop. It is XFCE, so you're going to have your regular right-click menu here. And then if you come down to the bottom, you do have a dock that pops up and auto-hides for you. Okay, one of the first things I want to go over, let's go ahead and see what kernel we're running here so let's put in uname dash srm and it's running the linux kernel 5.15.82 calculate kernel and another thing you're going to notice is it doesn't have a software center now to install software on here is pretty easy we're going to go ahead and clear out of that they use uh eix so what we're going to do real quick, if you wanted to do a search for, let's say, Firefox, you could go EIX Firefox. And what it'll do is it'll bring up the application. It'll show you they have available versions 102.60 and then the Rabbit version 107.0.0. Now, it's not going to give you the ESR. It's going to give you the most up to date. And to install it is pretty simple. All you would do is put in sudo emerge. Firefox and you're going to hit enter and you're going to give it just a little bit and it'll pop up and say local copy of remote index is up to date and will be used and it will start installing it but what we're going to do is I'm going to close out of this real quick so what we're going to do is go ahead and come back down to the bottom I want to go ahead and pop back into a terminal so we will come over here and we're going to try it with GIMP let's go EIX GIMP and it will pop up and let you know there's GIMP. It found five matches. It will install the most recent. And then all you have to do is put in sudo emerge GIMP. And it'll do a quick search. And it will pop up saying the local copy of remote index is up to date and will be used. And it'll say emerging binary. And then job zero one complete. And it's running one. So at present, it's going to get to running and go ahead and install that. Now, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and close out of this because we are in a virtual machine, but I wanted to go over real quick on how you installed software on Calculate Linux. So if we come back down to the bottom, as you can see, it has Chromium. Let's go ahead and open up that web browser and it does use Google as its primary search engine. If you want to change that, I'm sure you can. All you'd have to do is come over here. Let's go to settings, uh, search engine, current and what options do we have we got google bing yahoo so if you wanted to switch that over to DuckDuckGo, you could and i figure you close out probably reset 
and it's still going to show Google here. So let's see if it does a search on DuckDuckGo or Google. It did it on Google. Did I do something incorrect? Let's go back over to settings. Let's go to search. It does have DuckDuckGo. So maybe I have to close out and reopen for the settings to take change. Let's go ahead and open that back up. Or maybe it's just for the search bar up here. Let's go eBuzz Central. And yes, it switched to DuckDuckGo. So I guess if we wanted to change it down here, we'd have to go deeper into the settings. I'm just not going to get into that. But when you come to their main search page, right here it shows you all their social media. And then it's got news and updates right below the search bar. And that's really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. We will come back down to the bottom. And you've got... Claws Mail, you've got Calculate Linux Community, Gajim, which is a fully featured XMPP chat client, LibreOffice, Calculator, you've got GIMP installed out of the box. Let's go ahead and start that up. Let's see how long it takes to open. And that's pretty quick. So you got GIMP running out of the box. Close out of that. Come back down. Strawberry for music, SM Player for videos, leaf pad. Let's go ahead and open the terminal back up and let's go ahead and run a top. And let's go ahead and maximize that. And let's make it a little bigger so you can see it. And right now with just the terminal open, uh, we're running 546 megabytes at idle, which isn't bad. It's XFCE. That's usually what you would expect. There are some other versions out there that run a little lighter, uh, but that really, I mean, half a gig to be up and running. That is impressive to me. So if you got an older system, that'll work perfect for you. Or if you got a new system that you just want to fly, this would definitely work. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Come up top, you got your power, lock, date and time, clipboard, sound, internet, and of course your trash. Restore, minimize windows right here. And then of course your desktops right here. You got home, calculate Linux install, G parted. Let's go over here and see what we got over here. Applications, graphics, you got font forge. GIMP, Nomax, Internet, you've got Chromium, Claws, Mail, Hex Chat, Mail Reader, Qubit Torrent out of the box, Web Browser, Multimedia, Pulse Audio, Volume Control, SM Player, Strawberry Office, LibreOffice System, Task Manager, Thunar File Manager. Let's go ahead and check out Thunar. I'm pretty sure y'all are familiar with it. Lightweight File Manager, it kind of stays out of your way and lets you get things done. Usual Suspects over here, Home Folders right here. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then you've got utilities, bulk rename, catfish, clipboard, file manager we just looked at, screenshot, calculate console, calculate update. And then if you come over here, right click, you can create a launcher, desktop settings. And you've got different backgrounds. I kind of like that. Let's say you wanted to go with something like that. I do like that. As a matter of fact, I think I'll leave that up. This one right here just reminds me too much of the green hued mountain that you see in manjaro maybe go with something a little bit more like that so that's calculate linux if you're somebody that's never used gen 2 or a gen 2 based operating system i think this is one you could get in and learn you kind of got training wheels on it because you're not having to install gen 2 from source or you're not having to install gen 2 by itself which can be Sometimes frustrating, but that's just my opinion. Calculate Linux. It's awesome. I'll put a link in the description below. You can give it a run through. Like I said, it's the newest release. It's just came out. But if you haven't used something Gen 2 based, this is definitely one to give a shot to. What do you think? Is Calculate Linux something you might download, throw on a USB, or put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm. Which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month. Or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee. Maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.